Hey everyone, I'm back. Before I start this video, I just want to give you a little bit of context to what's going on here. Uh, where I live in Victoria, British Columbia, uh, there is a fire code that basically says you cannot stay within 10 feet of a curb. That mostly applies to sitting or blocking uh, that area. You can walk past it, yes, absolutely. It's just basically there as a fire code. If the fire department should show up, they need clear access. So in this case, I'm sitting at a Starbucks which is in a mall, which is on private property. The security guard had come out and asked this guy politely to move his chair and explains to him why it has to be done. The guy started swearing and refused to move. The security guard then came back and asked him yet again, but he still refused to move. And I also want to point out across the parking lot, there are perfectly uh, places to sit in the sun in a park, which was also advised to the gentleman. Uh, he still refused to move and he started swearing some more at, and it just kept escalating, at which point the security guard uh, got a little fed up and called the cops. Um, then as you, the video does progress, he does continue swearing and the security guard had every right to ask him to leave the premises. Uh, so you'll see what happens. The gentleman in the white shirt that does come on is an off-duty uh, Mountie, if you will, or police officer. And he does try to help uh, de-escalate the situation, but in context, having someone worked for security licensing before for the government the security guard is in the right here i know some people might think it's a little fascist but he is in the right so i'm going to go ahead and play the video and you can be the judge I'll sit there. Hi. Peace, brother. Thank you. 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 He wasn't sitting far enough away from the curb, refused to, and he started swearing in public. This man is Canadian RCMP that I work in Langford, this is it's not that he's just uh, sitting in a uh, chair of public. He was sitting uh, less than 10 feet away from the curb, which is a law. And then he was swearing on private property. So yes, yeah, swearing on private property is a crime, especially if the uh, owner tells you not to. No, he's completely in the wrong. No, it's not being aggravated. 
He was asked night. He was asked nicely to move because he's un under law. He has to be a certain distance away from the curb. He refused to and started swearing. And he was asked to leave. Stop to s stop swearing. And he was asked to leave. And now he's refusing. In Canada, it's viewed as a safety violation. You can't be there. It's not that just that he was on the sidewalk. He was uh, too close to the curb. They asked him to move back. He refused to play, uh, do so. Okay, he's gone. I'm just going to say this again for context. In this community, you have to be, by law, 10 feet away from the curb. He was not doing so, and he was asked to move back, politely by security. As a result, he refused, and security asked him again. He was started swearing, and he asked him to not, uh, not swear. But he continued doing so and he was asked to leave. This is on private property. They have every right to do so and ask. Not public property, private property. If this was public property, he would have every right. Anyways, got to sign out because it's done. It's a law under, uh, one second. Under the city of St. Itch and the Capital Region District bylaws, it is a law. So I gotta stop it now. 